Good morning everyone. So far we have completed one chapter matrices. Hereafter we are going to deal with an another chapter determinant. If you have any doubt please let me know through the comment box and if anyone did not subscribe my channel please do subscribe and press the bell button. Let us move on to the introduction part of this chapter determinant. So this synopsis introduction definition definition of the determinant problems on determinants properties of determinant area of the triangle they will give in two dimensional points and we have to find the area of the triangle with the help of determinant the grammar's rule minus and the perfect matrix singular and non singular matrix in this chapter we are going to study one more type of matrix that is nothing but singular and non singular matrix then to find a inverse how to find the a inverse with respect to singular and non singular we will find whether to find a inverse or not we will decide whether to find a inverse or not depends upon the singular and non singular matrices now we'll move on to the concept determinant definition of the determinant to a square matrix capital a of order n we can associate a number whether the number is real or complex is known as determinant of a for a square matrix we can associate one number that number may be real or complex that number is nothing but a determinant that means determinant you can find for every square matrix not for every matrix only for square matrix you can find the value of determinant you can find the determinant for every square matrix you can find the determinant not for every matrix if you want to find the determinant the matrix has to be a square compulsory that matrix has to be a square now it is denoted by del a or determinant of a or delta a this is nothing but determinant of a don't consider that this is a modulus is it clear is it clear to everyone let us move on to an example how to find the determinant i have told you that for every square matrix you have to we can find the determinant that means 1 2 3 4 4 that means in between two parallel lines you have to write the matrix elements See if capital A is equal to matrix is this way. One, two, three, four. What is the order of this matrix? Two by two. If you want to change the determinant, simply you can write. You have to write it in two parallel lines. That is one, two, three, four. That's it. How to find the value of determinant? Value of determinant A. That means you are finding determinant A is equal to. With respect to this matrix, only you are finding now. So determinant A is equal to. This is what. Diagonal elements. First principal diagonal element. This is something called principal diagonal element. Diagonal elements we have to multiply. What is four on side? Four minus three two side six. Four minus six. What is four minus six? Minus two. Determinant A is something called minus two. This is the way you have to find out the value of determinant. Four on side four. You have to put minus three two side six. Don't add. Okay. Minus four minus six is minus two. This is the value of determinant. A that is minus two. Is it clear? Now another value zero four five zero. How to find zero into zero? Zero minus five four sir twenty. Zero minus twenty minus twenty. Got it or not? Is it clear to everyone? Second question. Listen here. If capital A is equal to two, three, four, five, yes, it is two by two matrix. Find determinant three A. Determinant three A in the sense inside the determinant I have scalar multiplication so that A is equal to G T. Given that A is equal to two, three, four, five, three A. That means scalar multiplication with respect to three. That is three two sa six, three three sa nine, three four sa twelve, three five sa fifteen. So three A is our one matrix that is also Order two by two. Now determinant three a is nothing but determinant six nine twelve fifty. Fifty into six ninety. Twelve minus twelve uh, into nine 
minus 90 minus 100 meters minus 80. So determinant A is a determinant 3A is equal to minus 80. Is it clear to everyone? So determinant inside the determinant if you have scalar multiplication. Inside the determinant, if you have scalar multiplication, first you have to do the scalar multiplication of the first matrix, then after find the determinant. Don't take 3 outside the determinant. Don't do like this. Is it clear? Just go through this. Third question. If capital A is equal to 101012004, order of this matrix is 3 by 3, show that determinant 3A is equal to 27 times determinant A. 27 times determinant A. First, left hand side 3A, that means inside the determinant I have scalar multiplication, that is nothing but 3A. First, I am finding that 3A is equal to 3, 0, 3, 0, 3, 6, 0, 0, 3, 4, so, one. So, no, this is nothing but 3. So, now, determinant 3a is nothing but, this is determinant 3, 0, 3, 0, 3, 6, 0, 0, 1. For 3 by 3 matrix, listen here carefully, for 3 by 3 matrix, the, the finding determinant, to find the determinant, you have to expand, you have to expand with the respect to first row. With respect to first row. Expand with respect to first row for 3 by 3 matrix. Alternating plus minus. Alternating plus minus. These two things you have to keep it in your mind. For 3 by 3 matrix, to find the determinant, you have to expand with respect to first row. Alternating plus minus. That is 3 in first row. Plus minus plus. That means plus 3 into. If I am selecting this element, first row, first element, including this column, including this row. That means this number includes row and the column. This number includes the row and the column and eliminating remaining elements to have in 2 by 2. That is nothing but 3, 6, 0, 12. Yes or no? Minus 0 into anything will be 0 only. That's all. Again, I am writing 0 into listen, including this row and this column. This row and this column. Remaining elements 0, 6, 0, 12. 0, 6, 0, 12. Now, again, plus last time is 3. 3 into 3 into what? 3 into again. This row and this is 7 shape. 0, 3, 0, 0. 0, 3, 0, 3. Now expand. Listen here. 3 into 23 is 36. 36 minus 6 zeros are 0. This entire element will become 0 because 0 is there. Plus, plus 3 into 0 zeros are 0. 0 into 3, again, this will become 0. Now 36 minus 0 is 36. 36 into 3. 6 3 is 20. 3 3 is 9 plus 1. 108. So left hand side you got 108. So determinant 3 is something 108. You have to verify determinant A, then multiply the determinant, determinant A with the 27. You have to get the same answer 108. Is it clear? So first I will be right hand side and doing this is determinant A. Determinant A is equal to determinant 101012. 0, 0, 4. So here, 0, 0, 4. That is, I have told you that to find the determinant for 3 by 3 matrix, expand with respect to first row alternative plus minus. Alternative plus minus. That means 1 into 1, 2, 0, 4. Now, plus minus 0, that element will become 0 only. Plus 1 into, again, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0. Check. 1 into 4 ones are 4. Minus 0, 2 are 0. Plus 1 into again it will become 0. Now, 4 minus 0, 4. 
1 into 4, 4. So 27 into what is the value determinant A here? So 27 into 4 is something like 198. This implies that LHS is equal to RHS hence pro. Hence pro. Is it clear? So here left hand side scalar multiplication is there. First you have to do scalar multiplication as we have discussed in the previous chapter. After that you have to find the value of the determinant 3A. How to find the value of determinant 3A for 3 by 3 matrix? Expanding first row with respect to first row and alternating plus minus. That is alternating plus minus. Since here 0 we can eliminate that element. So that plus 3 into that means first element you have to select and you have to multiply with that matrix. 2 by 2 matrix. Okay. Is it clear? Similarly for determinant A also. 27 into determinant A, since determinant value of determinant A is 4, 27 into 4 is nothing but 100. Therefore, we just is equal to RHS. Hence, proved. Is it clear? Let's go through this. Fourth question Evaluate 3 by 3 matrix for the determinant. Evaluate the following for the determinant for 3 by 3 matrix. First question. A. Determinant 1, 2, 4, minus 1, 3, 0, 4, 1, 0. Before starting this uh, problem, the given matrix is square matrix, right? Okay, so that we can find the determinant. That means for every determinant, the matrix has to be a square. If you want to find the determinant, the matrix has to be a square matrix. Since the given matrix is square, so that I can find the value of determinant. Now, I have told you that for 3 by 3 matrix, how to find the determinant? Expanding with respect to first row, alternating plus minus. Expanding with respect to first row, alternating plus minus. So, 1 into which element? First element including row, including column. That means 3, 0, 1, 0. Minus 2 into minus 2 into this element including row, including column, remaining elements minus 1, 0, 4, 0. Minus 1, 0, 4, 0. So no? Now, 4 into plus 4 into including this column, this very sudden chain. Including this row, including this column. Remaining minus 1, 3, 4, 1. Minus 1, 3, 4, 1. That is 1 into 0 into 3, 0. Minus 0. Because 1 into 0 is 0. Minus 2 into 0 into minus 1, 0. Minus 4 into 0, again 0. Plus 4 into 1 into minus 1, minus 1. Minus 4, 3 is a 2. Now, that is 0 minus and this will become 0. This also will become 0. 4 into minus 1, minus 2. That means minus 30. 4 into minus 30. What is 13 into 4? 4, 3 is a 12, 15. So, answer is minus 15. Determinant value for the first matrix is minus 15. Is it clear? Expanding with respect to first row alternating plus minus. First element you have to select. Don't avoid that element you have to multiply. After expanding the 2 by 2 matrix you have to multiply with that element. First element for the 3 by 3 matrix. Is it clear? Try this. Try this third one. So the second one, okay, this. is it clear? So far, we have discussed four problems on determinants and definition of determinants in this episode. I suggest to practice the problem, then only you will get to know the idea of the determinant. If anyone did not subscribe my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell button. Thank you.